be making bases. All right, so now that we know what a compression does and we understand the compression settings or basically have a basic idea of the compression settings, let's look at it in a, in a live demonstration here. I'm going to go ahead and push play on these instruments or on this track and, and we're going to see, okay, what could use a compressor, okay? All right, so you know the instruments all it, the sounds okay, but one thing I'm noticing is the kick drum is not really punching through that mix like it should, right? So what I would do is add a compression. Again, I told you that is perfectly fine to start with um, presets, and that's usually where where I start. Um, a good preset that I found, or my favorite presets to use, are this drum kit compression, the uh, FET live drums compression. And sometimes I'll use this kick drum compression and the live drums compression. But I'm going to start with this drum kick compression. Let's check out this kick drum now. I'm going to say before, after. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here at these settings and see, like, well, what is making this kick drum thump like the way it is? First, look at the threshold. It's right around nine, negative nine dB. That means that soon as the signal comes in right here, that's when the compressor is going to hit. Okay, that means that it's going to give a a thicker sound, um, or it's going to work right right around this particular dB. Now, what this signal is saying is right at like uh, three dB or three point nine dB. So that's when, you know, it's going to, at, at, at how much is going to compress it. If you notice here, if I go higher, it's not really affecting the compression as much. Why? Because that means that we have to have it hitting at a certain level of dBs before it even really you know, compresses something. So you want to have it, sometimes these lower settings can actually give you a better effect. As you can hear here, the, the lower the ratio, the, the harder thumping the sound of the uh, kick drum becomes, okay? Now, of course, you don't want this kick drum hitting too hard. So what you could do is you could turn this make this makeup game down or the output level. I'm gonna do work with the makeup game first because I don't want this uh, this kick signal coming out too high in the mix. So what I would do is come over to this makeup game. We could turn this down like maybe like right under this, like negative one dB. All right, and as you can see you know, it's still making a difference in the track. Let's listen to it without it. And let's listen to it with it again. Now, I think to keep in mind again with anything that you're doing with the mix is less is more. You don't want to any of your instruments to be sounding too compressed. So for instance, if I come over here and I completely smush everything and I bring this this uh, threshold down to where, okay, it's going to, you know, saying start working almost immediately as soon as it comes in here. Excuse me, like right down here. I mean, you're going to see how hard it's going to be hitting. It's going to be too compressed. <laughs> to the point where you can't even really hear it. You know what I'm saying? Compared to say if we put it around like where it was like around 9 dB move this back up here it kind of gives a, a thumping a thumpiness as you can see the attack is pretty um pretty uh, pretty much at a low value uh level and that's pretty much because you want that kick drum to really you start hitting immediately you know what i mean that's when you you the attack is again controlling how fast the compressor works
All right. So I hope this lecture has kind of helped um, you understand how to, to maybe adjust these settings to make the sound sound a couple, you know, sound differently. We're going to do a few more lectures where we'll, we'll, we'll add compression, basic compression to some of the instruments to make them pop out in the mix. Um, and if you have questions, make sure to ask. Thanks so much for watching.